So I cannot believe, I cannot believe the absolute stupidity, the absolute stupidity of this decision. And of course, I, I missed it last night, but I, I, as I was reading, scrolling through the news this morning, uh, I saw that Angela Rayner had been sacked from her position in the Labour Party. And the predominant prevailing reason, apparently for doing this, apparently for doing this, is because of the Labour loss. Not only of just Hartlepool, but the local elections as well. I can absolutely not believe this. This is not what Starmer said he would do. Starmer said he would take responsibility. Because ultimately, this is his fault. People did not vote for Labour and did not turn out for Labour because there was, again, 60% of the population of Hartlepool did not turn out to vote. And that's predominantly because they didn't have anything to vote for. I mean, I, I'm shocked when I'm quoting Peter Mandelson, and trust me, I don't agree with Peter Mandelson, you know, 100% of the time. But I'll tell you what, he's right in this, com in this comment that he made that Labour sent out an MP naked to the wind. There was no policy for him to talk about, no policy for him to discuss. There was absolutely nothing, nothing for him to say, this is what a Labour government in power would do for the people of Hartlepool. This is what I will fight for you on. And I personally cannot believe how stupid and ridiculous this is. Because here's the thing, the Blairites who predominantly seem to back Starmer and the ones who essentially are currently in charge of the current Labour Party said, don't worry, we're winners. We'll win this by election, no problem. And it was predominantly under their watch that they failed. And it's time, guys, to admit, you were wrong. One of the big comments that they made was that they had finally got their party back. But OK, guys, you got the party back. But what for? And essentially, I can sum it up as this. You've took power without a purpose. Your essential ideal is to be in control of the Labour Party, but to do nothing with it. My call to those people today is step aside and step down and apologise. I'm not saying leave Labour, no, because I'll tell you why in a moment. You need to admit that you were wrong and that your offering, the last time you were in power, was the exact offering that you seem to be making when we were facing Michael Howard back in 2005. The public and the people have moved on since then. They have moved on. Take a leaf from the Joe Biden book of where every le everyone on the left, myself included, would have wanted Bernie Sanders. But guess what? Biden is actually sitting down and listening to the left of his party. And quite frankly, his recent speech he made for the State of the Union was absolutely fantastic. It was on point 
and the American public have responded to it overwhelmingly positively. So what needs to happen now is quite frankly this. All sides, whether you are left, momentum, a Corbynista, a Blairite, whatever, time to put aside our egos and say, we need to unite and prepare for the next general election. That's our mission. And we need policies for that. We need to be telling the people of the UK, if you vote for Labour, this is the vision of Britain. This is how much better the UK could be if you put us in power. And we know overwhelmingly that the UK public does want progressive things. The problem is, is that we currently have leaders of the party who do not want that. And that's the sad thing. And for some reason, you do not want to listen to us. We've had all these ideas that we could have done in Hartlepool that were ignored. You know, that you wanted to put up a flag for no other reason than except there just should be a flag there. It is disappointing and upsetting. And I've said it a couple of times. There is potentially on the cards now a Labour civil war. And at this point, we cannot afford to have a Labour civil war. So I want to call on all sides in the Labour Party, all sides to come together and sit down and have a fundamental rethink, a fundamental rethink of Labour's strategy going into the next general election. Because it's very clear that the strategy we are on is doomed to fail. And I don't know how we will achieve it, but I think it starts by looking at what went wrong in Hartlepool and examining what the local people on the ground are saying, especially, especially from the local Labour parties. They should be 100% involved in this. No focus groups, because turns out focus groups tend to not be doing that well for the Labour Party. Listen to the people who are part of the Labour Party from the North, be they from whatever, you know, direction of the political compass they may be. Take our messages on board and build, and build a positive new manifesto for the Labour Party that they can take forward in to the next general election. One that every single, and I mean every single, person in the Labour Party can get behind. Because that is the only way that we will win. So, I, like I say, I'm massively disappointed by this news. Massively. I generally cannot believe the stupidity of this move. Because if Starmer wants a civil war, then he's got a civil war. And I do not want to fight a civil war at this time. It is pointless, it is counterproductive, and will just look good in the right-wing press. That's all it will do. And while we're fighting, the Conservatives are going to continue pulling, you know, sleazy allegations. There seems to be almost one a week. Maybe we should put forward some policy to deal with that. Just an idea, guys. But that's my message today. We do not need a civil war at this time. Yes, we lost. But that's what happens in politics sometimes. You lose. But guess what? 
you pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, and you get ready for the next fight. And if you do not want to get ready for that next fight, then I'm sorry, but that's how politics works sometimes. You've got to get ready for some close bare knuckle brawls. And I hope, hope that this does not descend into a civil war because it will not end well for Labour. It will not end well at all. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me a coffee. And as always, we'll see you all next time.